session. Father. suggesting that one day like a month is already finished and we are now in one day as a week and that Israel has already assumed the status of the superpower of the world. <clears throat> no, I don't agree. The United States is still the ruling power in the world. The evidence is very clear. I don't agree. But what happened in the Six Day War is that the world got a taste, a taste of the military might that Israel can unleash. I expect, Amir Ali, I expect sometime soon, maybe not more than a year, two years, three years, at the most five years, I expect this massive military attack from the side of Israel. It will be spectacular. It will be a spectacular, a dazzling display of military power on the part of Israel. Hmm? I expect that to come soon. When that comes and the international monetary system collapses, okay, and you see the US dollar collapsing, I wish I had the time to give you the details of the subject. I don't. Then I believe the one day like a month will come to an end and the one day like a week will begin. This is my opinion. Yeah. Uh, incidentally, I said that I expect these things to occur within 50 years. Namely, that the Sea of Galilee will dry up. And after the Sea of Galilee dries up, then Imam al-Mahdi returns, Isa alayhi islam comes back. Hmm? But I'm not saying that the world is going to end in 50 years. No, 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 no. That only Allah knows. <laughs> I'd be very wrong to say that. I'm only talking about these events within the next 50 years. Can we have the last question? Okay. Osama bin Laden is in the territory of Afghanistan. Taliban has emerged in Afghanistan as an Islamic movement. Burhanuddin Rabbani, uh, Hikmat Yar, uh, Ahmad Masood, none of these had that claim to Islamic legitimacy that the Taliban is claiming. I have my differences with Taliban. But the Hadith speaks about Khurasan. Dr. Isra Ahmad, who is an outstanding scholar of Islam in the modern world, who lives in Pakistan, has devoted a tremendous amount of thought to this subject of Khurasan. And he has explained that when the Prophet used the term Khurasan, he was referring to a particular territory at the heart of which is Afghanistan and the territories around Afghanistan, like the northwest of Pakistan and the northeast of Iran as a territory north of Afghanistan. Okay? What is very significant about that territory of Afghanistan is that Europe could never colonize it. Europe could never colonize it. 
Never. The British tried. And the British failed. And then the Russians tried. And the Russians failed. That already is a significant sign that this hadith is going to win fulfillment from that part of the world. And so the presence of men like Osama bin Laden in Afghanistan is something to watch. Yes. On Friday, inshallah, Moise, that's the topic. That's the topic. Inshallah, on Friday at Moise. Okay. Thank you, Maulana, for the time that you have spent to open up our blinded hearts, which has a lot of hijabs, and we are not able to see the reality of this world. Now, for other of uh, Maulana Imran Hussain's talk, he's going to give a lecture on Quranic method of curing alcoholism and drug addiction. Alcoholism. Yes. Alcoholism. Alcoholism. Imam Mahdi and the return of Khalifa. Islam and the challenges of the modern age. Return of Jesus from the Islamic view. And of course the public talk which is on the 29th of June at 8 p.m. At Mu'is Auditorium entitled Ehsan, the Spiritual Essence of Islam. With that, the books are there? Yes. The books, Maulana's books, are still on sale, and for today, there are 10 books, and these 10 books are, these 10 books have been sold at a discounted rate of $70 for one whole set. The books are in a range of $2 to $12. If you buy the whole set, 10 set, which is supposed to cost $79, a discount is be given to $70. The books can be obtained from uh, at, uh, at the gate of the mosque. And do not forget to give some of our donations to the mosque building fund for Masjid Abdul Alim Masjid. Allah let us end with together reciting The venue will be Darro Arkham at 8 p.m. at the auditorium. Let us end this session by reciting Tasbih Kafara and Surat Al As. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Subhanakallah wa bihamdika. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wal As. Inna al insan la fi khus. إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وبالله التوفيق والهداية وإلى ركوا العناية والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته.